Cops is filmed on location as it happens. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Anyway, the activity is still hot and heavy up at uh, 228, so uh, anything that comes out of there, you know, please do stop. You know, if you're not doing anything, go up and park in the driveway and make your life miserable. The guy who's uh, at the radio tower next door? Yeah. He, he can get on our frequency can, with the radio equipment he's, he's got in his house. Is. So, uh, you know, he can monitor. He, know, he knows what's going on. And if you do get into a pursuit, make sure you let Robert know it's coming by his house. Because he'll stand out on his front lawn and throw rocks at the car you're chasing. <laughs> you think I'm joking. I'm not. He seriously does. <laughs> Anybody else have anything? Gary, any more? No. Okay. 10-8. <laughs> What are you telling me? Am I being charged with something? No, I'm here on no, my I... personal property. What's the deal? I'm, I'm are you asking, charging me with something or I'm what? asking you why it is that people are saying there's shots fired over here. Why are you asking me why my neighbors are asking me why there's some kind of shots fired here? I don't, I don't know. know. Why don't you ask the neighbors? Know. They can Sorry. tell you. Well, that's we did. And now we're over here trying to find out. These two signs have got bullet holes in them. There and there. Okay, everybody, be advised we got three spent rounds on the ground. Look like 357 over here on the side of the house. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of spent in there and a couple of good ones. I put the gun in back of my garage. In, in that the garage there? I can show you the gun if you like. Okay. You got it. Got it. All I want to know is what's I going on. I went to my room, I grabbed my gun, I drove two shots, I realized I did something wrong, I stuffed it in the back of the wood pile. Shoot, I don't care. Go ahead, you guys are all in the Why do you have to do that? It is a felony in the state of California now to discharge a weapon in an area that's inhabited where people can get killed or injured. See, I don't know why she's waiting. Sat through a, a green light there. Oh well. Turn it here. Quick, hide the dope, lady. Hide the dope. stop you is I was kind of wondering why you sat through a green light down there. We've uh, raided the, that apartment complex like three different times because uh, they're dealing drugs. And there's a bunch of drug addicts that hang around up there and everybody that's in a parking lot or a driveway up at that apartment complex we're looking at as either a dealer, someone who's transporting, somebody who, who's possessing or somebody who's using. And that's being as completely you, honest and true. I know. I can understand that. I was okay. just curious. And we want to run all the drug addicts and dope addicts out of the town because they're useless. They're not worth anything. And anybody that uses it should be swept off the street. I see the registration on the car, please. You're 
also under arrest for a warrant, which is out for your arrest for false impersonation or giving false information. I, I, so, I went to all my court hearings, and I swear to God. <laughs> No, probably, uh, probably meth, but uh, it's crystallized like I've, uh, I haven't seen uh, meth before. So it could be. Probably up in a bundle of money, so she's been dealing besides. Uh, turn around. Turn around. We're going to take you over to the station to start with. going to the Las Colinas Women's Detention Facility in Santee. You just stay there and relax for a couple Why minutes. Why is that? Because you're under arrest, and that's but where I ladies who are under arrest anything. It go. Have my, I didn't do it. It wasn't mine. It's relax. not even my car. What's your name? Ralph. Ralph what? The white any registration for the vehicle? Yes, sir. What's this? That's for registration. Some, uh, some person had told me to sell my car and uh, came down here. Explain a couple of things to you. Item number one, your car's getting towed because the lady was driving it. Her license is suspended or revoked. Item number two, we found drugs in the car. She's being charged with that. So, any way you slice it, she's going to the slammer tonight. Did she say those drugs were hers? No, she didn't. And I didn't ask her yet. And that quality kind of a guy who lets his girlfriend take the fall for his drugs. You know it was his. I was just waiting for him to say something. But what the hell, if he wants to let his girlfriend take the fall for the drugs, let the girlfriend take the fall. How can he walk away? Kimberly, just to, just to let you know what's going on, I have no doubt in my mind that the drugs that I found in the car belong to your boyfriend. And your boyfriend's, your boyfriend's le letting you take the fall for the drug. He just bailed out. He said, you know, he didn't need... He didn't Thing about it, so it's all yours. You jerk! God, no! You need so You jerk! We're resident deputy sheriffs out here in the, the rule enforcement program. But what the resident deputy is, is we live in the community that we serve. Myself, I'm specifically assigned to the Julian substation here along with uh, six other deputies. We have a little over 2,000 square miles for the rule enforcement program, or about 64% of the total county. We serve as patrol deputies, detectives, uh, juvenile officers, and we also have the ambulance program. A uh, citizen's report of a uh, 415, uh, possible 647 of breaking up a house. Call out R5 and all meet him on 78. The guy that just notified us of this uh, disturbance down there is the owner of the property. This individual he's talking about has had prior problems with being drunk in public and disturbing the peace. He's got troubles with his wife. And since she's down off the hill, I think he's the only one there at the house. He has a propensity for violence, so I called out my partner, Deputy Linton, to cover me just in case there's more to it. Okay, this is the house here. Yeah, look at the windows. He's been busting them all out. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody here? Join time one today. Where'd he go? You know? I don't know. He hasn't come down this way to his back. What happened? Guy went nuts, man. How much has he been drinking? I don't know if he's been drinking or not. 
Okay, his wife and kids are, are gone from the house, is that right? right Just they're, him? They're safe. He's the only one here. Did you see this guy run anywhere? I heard him up until about five minutes ago. Why'd you tear the house up? I was pissed off. At who? The house or your wife? The wife. Why do you and your wife get in problems? What's the problem? Come on, that's, that's up to a counselor, not a police officer. Thank you. So what have I done wrong? I met my wife, sir. Don't you understand? The last time I talked to you, if you weren't happy with your wife, didn't want to do you guys separate. Why sir, I've been with her for 30-some years. Problems? I don't want to just give it up and walk away. There's always a chance maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but you, you guys are me. making yourself miserable for each other. You got your tear up well, the house, no trust she about, leaves. There's no doubt about that. Well, I'd be gone. I ain't that ugly record and get me another girlfriend and go up and get me a job do something different, you know? I've been here for about that since I've been 14, 13 years old. I'm 45 yesterday. Yeah. You know, she's been with me all my life. I'll die for that witch. Yeah. George, come over here and have a seat. I spoke to your son for a while with the, uh, uh... That's right. Have a seat, you understand? Yeah. He's being arrested for drunk on alcohol and or drugs. Sit back and enjoy. We are people fine. You are not under criminal arrest, but I am taking you for examination by mental health professionals at County Mental Health Facility down on Rose Cranes in San Diego. We not San Diego? You can make a phone call or leave a note to tell your friends or family where you've been taken. What's going on? Uh, you tell me. Hey, all I'm doing is uh, trying to get a little rest. Uh, what I got, uh, I got three deadly diseases. I got pneumonia, I got emphysema, I got asthma. You live out of your car, sir? Uh, most of the time, yes, I do, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a, a tourist area, and people are coming out here. Yeah. And they're concerned because they see you out here. I understand. You're dumping your trash out here, you live no, in your no, car. I always pick up my trash. Uh. Okay, are you drunk now, sir? No. I'm just a tired, sick puppy. Uh, look, I told you, I got three <laughs> killer diseases that I'm dealing with right now. And uh, oh, now, have you gone down and checked yourself into a hospital somewhere, or you've been? Uh, well, no. Uh, why not? Uh, I have got the money. Uh, okay. What I mean is, uh, I uh, I can't afford it. Uh, you have alternatives through the state where you can get yourself some Medicare well, or whatever it is that I you hope can so. get. Uh, uh, I think you should be checking out that opportunity rather than just laying up here and sleeping here. And uh... I'm okay. Now look, I can drive uh, uh, if I can get my damn car started. Well, I don't think he's uh, intoxicated. I think he's got some disabilities, but. I'll follow him here for a while and see how he's doing as far as his driving goes. Kind of boy. Some people end up here stranded, no money. And because of that, you know, we help them as much as we can. We're going to have computers in all in these vehicles. We're supposed to cut down report riding by 50%. Uh, That's beautiful. Just don't take your car over 5Gs today, okay? I'd have to probably be traveling about. Uh, 400, 500 miles an hour to get up to 5Gs in this? Well, if you're going, like, upside down or something. Yeah, that'd be a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, in other words, I would die, but this computer would survive. That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they say. See how you need to take your coffee on the run. You don't get it. Okay, well, what's the problem here, guy? Someone stole my truck from food value. Yeah, how long goes this? About a week and a half. A week and a half. Okay, you, you called me because you've recovered it, or you know where it is, is that it? Yeah. And, I uh, found it over by the railroad tracks. Um, he was coming to pick me up from work. Uh -huh. And he was riding his three-wheeler, he saw it on the other side of the railroad tracks. He came and got me. We went back there, It was we found it stripped, and found where the people lived. Okay, when did you uh, last see it? Was this today, or, or when? Yeah, this is today. How bad is it stripped? Did it look like it's drivable, or are they? Uh, the front wheels are off. Spindles are in the dirt. Oh, the wonderful. bed's yeah. removed from the vehicle, and it's in someone's yard. The um, bed of your truck is actually in somebody's yard. In somebody's yard. Oh, that's good. The seats are gone. Uh, stereo's ripped out. Well, we'll go on over and uh, 
get your truck back or you know, what's left of it. Sounds and we'll good just kind of play it by ear from there. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll move back in about a bike. Nolan or, or Tommy on one. Right. I can see the hood of the truck uh, about 100 yards ahead of me right now. Just going to hit it from here, going from the backyard. Yep, there's the plates. And there's there's the bed of the truck right there. Yeah, why don't we step outside? Well, Raji, what can you tell me about that pickup bed being in your backyard? This one? Yeah. It was going to a friend of mine down here because this guy, he got it stuck out here and people have been tearing it apart and he asked me if that was a truck behind my house. Who asked you? A guy down the street. What guy is this? Guy... Greg down here? Greg what? I don't know his last name. Well, you better start thinking of a last name, buddy, because right now you're in possession of stolen property, and you're this far from going to jail yourself. Okay? Dude, the truck I... is stolen. The bed is in your yard. That looks pretty bad, Raji. I know. How'd the bed get in your yard? I took it off. You took it off the car? Yes, I did. Why? Because he said he wanted a bed for his truck, and this one got stuck out here. We just took the bed off, and the guy hasn't, he hasn't been back over here, so. You, th you think that was a natural thing to do, huh? A 1988 Toyota, somebody's gonna get stuck and just leave there forever, and you can take any parts off it you want? Well, I don't have no way to contact you guys. Yeah, you know, okay. You Why don't you, you go ahead and place your hands on your back for me, okay? You are under arrest. Yeah, right now, you're in arrest, Raji, for possession of stolen property, okay? I advise you not to say anything more for, for now until we read you your rights and talk to you at the station. All right. Well, this is going to be something to recover with a tow truck. Who's that? I can't fuck over That's your friend. Well, that was a guy that uh, has been tearing everything off of your truck. Pretty thrashed, huh? How foolish it is to have a vehicle without theft insurance. It's a disappointment. My name is Guillermo. Okay, Raji, you're going to cooperate with me completely. You're going to tell me everything I need to know. If you don't, I'm going to transport you downtown. I'm going to book you into juvenile hall for possession of stolen property. I've already talked to your mom. She's told me if I do that, she will not come down and get you. That means you will stay in jail until you go to court. If I have your cooperation, I'll release you to your mother and, and her sister today from here. We have that clear, right? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I suggest a major change in your acquaintances, buddy. Mm-hmm. I agree. 